Hello there, this is uh, Dududum again, or you can call me Dainian, and I've got a Visual Basic tutorial right now, and this is going to be about reading multiple lines from a text file, which is right here. I've got this text file called tut.txt, and right now it hasn't got anything in it, so let's put something in it. We'll put in hello in one line, and YouTube in the other line, and we'll save that. Okay, so... Um, now that we got that, we can we're gonna get this application right here to read those two lines separately. So it's not gonna print them out on the same text box. It'll print them out on these two separate text boxes. And that's all I've got in this forum so far. There's a button that says uh, read and two text boxes. And that's all I've got. So let's get into programming it now. Or well, if you can call programming programming in Visual Basic, but whatever. Okay, let's go a uh, dim to make a new variable, um, and we'll call it reader. So that's the name of our variable as new system dot io dot stream reader. So not stream. Oops, I knew I spelled that wrong. Stream reader. So not stream writer. Stream reader, and uh, you might get confused with that. So. We've got dim reader as new system IO stream reader, and uh, now in the arguments we've got to put in the directory uh, that we want to read from. So I'll go curdir, which is C U R D I R, and what that does is it gets the directory that the application is being run from. So say it might be C program files, cool program. Uh, program.exe or whatever it would be in that directory so it'd it'll automatically go to that directory so we're gonna go that and we're gonna go add a slash and tut dot txt so txr so tut dot txt and uh, then we can close that alright so what we've got is we've got a new variable called reader and the system IO stream reader and it's at the current directory and uh, tut.txt is the name of the file. Actually, you know, just uh, to make BB work properly, I'll close, I'll do the slash in one part and I'll go and again and I'll put tut.txt in another part. That usually fixes any bugs. So, what we'll do is we'll go uh, reader dot read uh, actually no we've got to hmm, I'm thinking about uh, C++ so we've got to um, okay define three uh, string variables so uh, what we'll do is we'll go dim uh, str1 str2 and str3 as string Okay, so those are three strings, and they don't have any value yet, so it's just warning us here that we don't have any value for them yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to use them. So we're going to go reader dot read line, and I'll open that. Oh, no, sorry. Thinking about C++ again. So we go str1 equals reader dot read line and then we've got that so string one equals reader dot read line so we'll also go str2 equals reader dot read line and I made a third variable for some reason I don't know why I did that so I'm going to delete that third variable so we have string one and string two so now that we've got those variables happening we can close uh, the reader, so we can go reader dot close, and you definitely don't want to keep uh, stream readers open because that causes big bugs and big errors. So we've closed it, and we've got those uh, that text in our memory. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to print it out on those two text boxes, and obviously that's easy. So uh, text box one dot text equals uh, str1 okay 
and uh, we'll do that again so text box 2 dot text equals str2 and that's all you've got to do it's that simple so we've saved that we've compiled it and we'll go read and it reads the two lines which is pretty awesome and it's closed the text file so we can open back up the text file and change this to what oops what's up I know it didn't do uh, the H in there but who cares we'll close that and um, we'll go here and we'll go read this is what's up do it again we'll go blah blah okay and we'll close that we don't even have to close that but it's just easier to close it and we'll go read and it's got that so it happens pretty much real time and this is really good when you're uh, getting the application to read and write if you just want to make a really quick database or database however you want to say it so I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial here's the code here uh, by the way the code is just in I double clicked read uh, read sorry and put the code in there really easy code really cool next tutorial will be how to read from sorry how to write into a text file so see you later